If you're interested in cryptocurrency and you're interested in borrowing or loaning your assets, then you might be interested in something called MakerDAO. In this video, we're going to dive into MakerDAO and how to use MakerDAO to your own benefit. Let's dive in. So in a nutshell, MakerDAO is a decentralized loaning and lending autonomous organization. It's built on the Ethereum blockchain and makes use of two native tokens, namely Maker and DAI. Now, MakerDAO works through a smart contract on the Ethereum blockchain that helps stabilize the DAI token. The system used for this is called Collateralized Debt Positions, or CDP. Digital assets, in this case Ethereum, are locked inside the CDP. The CDP is then deposited and DAI is generated. When the loan DAI is returned, the CDP is then released. However, if the DAI is not repaid, the CDP gets liquidated. It is sold in order to generate the exact amount of DAI that was loaned. This, in essence, helps keep DAI remain at the $1 peg. Moving on to the Oasis app. Now, the Oasis platform is used to perform all MakerDAO loan and lending features. It allows users to easily interact with the Maker protocol and provides three major features, namely trading, borrowing, and saving. Now, although the Oasis app is a very convenient platform, it also has limited functions. First of all, you can access the app through oasis.app slash borrow. Once you're on the page, you're going to want to connect your wallet and open your vault. Then select a collateral and then generate DAI by depositing Ethereum into the vault. You can then see your DAI generated on your MetaMask wallet. Now, using the MakerDAO CDP vault. To create a CDP vault, you would first of all need to visit the MakerDAO CDP portal. The first screen looks like this. Now, the next step is to connect your wallet just like we did with the Oasis app. The options available are MetaMask and other hardware wallets like Trezor, Ledger Nano, etc. After successfully connecting your wallet, you will then be directed to the CDP portal where you can then open CDP. Now, how do we actually take loans on MakerDAO? Having connected your wallet to the platform and directed to the CDP portal, the next step would be to open CDP and deposit Ethereum tokens in order to generate DAI. The amount of Ethereum you deposit must be equal in value to the amount of DAI you want to generate, and after the DAI has been generated, your CDP portal will look like this. As stated before, the DAI generated is dependent on the amount of Ethereum locked within the CDP. The Ethereum cannot be unlocked until the DAI loaned out is returned. However, in a situation where the Ethereum lock is affected by volatility and drops below 150% of the collateralization ratio, it is automatically liquidated. To prevent this, it is advised that the moment a user observes the value of their Ethereum drop significantly, it's important to deposit more Ethereum into the system to prevent liquidation. Compounding DAI DAI can either be loaned and converted to satisfy a need or it can be compounded on the system and used to generate even more tokens. Now that the DAI has been generated to compound it, you can navigate to the compound option and begin using compound after accepting the terms of service. After that, you would need to connect to MetaMask again. The next step would be to supply DAI and approve DAI on MetaMask. Although other crypto assets can be used for compounding, DAI has the best APR. And finally, you can now supply DAI into the compound protocol. So after confirming one last MetaMask transaction, you can now begin to earn an interest on the DAI supplied and also have control of your Ethereum locked in the CDP. This is one way to earn some sweet passive income. Now, should you really be using MakerDAO? Of course, I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice, and there are many risks attached to the project. Keep in mind, you should never invest more than you are willing to lose. And keep in mind, some risks exist such as liquidation potential, in the case of your collateralization ratio below 150%, and even smart contract hacks. In conclusion, MakerDAO is a powerful tool that can be used for lending and borrowing. And after you learn in this tutorial, the process of taking a loan and compounding on MakerDAO should be easy to understand and perform on both platforms. Now on to you. What's your favorite lending platform? Have you ever used MakerDAO and what are your opinions on this platform? I'd love to hear your comments below, so please leave a comment in the YouTube section or join our Telegram group and let us know what you think about MakerDAO. As always, guys, stay safe in the DeFi space and have an amazing day.